Welcome to the Project Spot. This is Seb B. Now, today we have the 23 million dollar question. Then carry what them I use, go up on all kind of robberies and them things, all kind of murders. Right. When is the authorities going to start holding the owners of these vehicles truly accountable? Now, if we talk about it, we can also touch upon the facts say. People continue to claim, say, you know, I just one of them thing there. There's nothing you can do. Anytime 87 pull up rob you, right, you're going to be laid out flat and the money will go on. Right? I just saw you go. Buy them thing there. The salt is salt. Nothing can be done. No amount of preparation. And also, the whole inside job right, argument. We are here. But the possibility that it's an inside job. Let me start off with right, the whole, you know, can't do nothing. Now, let's get something straight as well. We've seen a mentally ill man with a fire agent make 87s turn cool. Two people are gassing up these 87s, like say, when a text go or total. Making them sound like Rambo, Terminator. Nothing you can do, you are attacked by a superior force, it happens so quickly. Utter rubbish. The idea that, well, them pull up in a car, them have big guns, so what you want them to do? All of this, you can't do nothing. No amount of preparation. Rubbish. Man. Anybody say that, man, it's not in the field, never has been. The defensive position you take up man, should greatly increase your chances of holding off any attack. Let me repeat myself. The defensive position you take up right, should greatly increase your chances of holding off any attack, right, regardless of the number of attackers. An excellent defensive position right, can make one man hold off an entire platoon. Let me say that one more time. An excellent defensive position can make one man hold off an entire platoon. He can hold off an entire company if the position right, is really that good. You people talk about standoff. You ever watch the, the, the big when you look on the you know the big news stories them, especially in you know, Uncle Sam place and you know Canada and place and you see. Right, one man hold up right and the entire police force are shoot off him and it lasts nineteen hours. You ever seen that? A whole day with a shooting. One man hold up somewhere and then bring out the invest, then bring out the, the negotiator. Surrender now, what do you want? Cut the crap. The biggest problem with taking up said defensive position right, is usually time because you know, I'm going to start running out. Right. Food, water, and everything never start becoming to play tiredness. But guess what? 87s don't have time. 87s can't in another 20 hours stand off with you. Them need to be in and out right, in a couple of minutes maximum. You only need to hold off for a couple of minutes. You only need to hold a decent, forget about excellent, a decent defensive position should be able to make you hold off for a couple of minutes. 87s can't stay up the whole day with their shooter. They cannot. If 87s pull up on you and immediately hit the entire team, Right. Then that right is so. Right. It's clearly an issue surrounding tactics. Stop making people lying to you that there's nothing you can do. Right. If 87s jump out of a vehicle and hit the whole team and everybody drop on the ground, right, that reflects more on tactics. Right. You see, luckily Iron Man doesn't get attacked by foreign countries because these people would have the entire country overrun. And surrendering an idea. Talking about, well, there's nothing we could have done. Right? No amount of preparation could have helped us. I mean, never in history has a small force ever hold off a much larger force. Never been done. We didn't tell people that. It made them think to themselves, oh, well. Right? One of them think they, right? No point revisiting tactics. There's no point revisiting how we deal with certain things. There's no point revisiting our SOPs because... All the experts themselves, no amount of preparation could have helped us. There's nothing we could have done, or one of them things. 
when the truck with the money I pull up, the entire team, especially the one them who is covering the bad man with the money, should already be spotting their defensive position they're going to take up. Right, and that position should help them out right, in case of an attack for at least right, a couple minutes. Long enough 87 to take with themselves. And how one weird that defensive position is taken up. Right. Well, as I said, I don't know what kind of training I go on. You know, these companies, but then again, I right, don't take my word for it. I'm just a little YouTuber. In the source video, you heard when C4 said, Black man are costing renting car. I right, forgot to kill people and a man take the car gone by the dead coke. It's actually very common to get to rent car, rent private car, go up and shoot in a car back. That's why enough time people even see the car, spot the license plate number, right, report it, and they don't come out of it. Because when the police call in the owners of the vehicle, them, them start the whole plausible deniability thing. Oh, me just renting the car, me just lending me car, me never know that that going to happen. Right, nobody know nothing. Right. The owner go in, right, say, he never know how to go on, he was clueless, right, and then shortly after the car get released back on the road. Now, if you're a vehicle involved in a robbery, there's only a few things that can go on, you know. So, if they rent the car, they're supposed to know who they rent the car to. And it can't be no, no nickname, right? The man is supposed to can say, we rent the car, right, to Sus. We rent the car, right, to Crooks. You have car rental business, right? Well, you rent car to man and you know who rent the car, you must know who. So, talk who you rent the car because of them, they carry out the robbery. Where them name, where them live. Right, if you say, well, you let your bridge in the car, alright, where your bridge in the name? Where your bridge in? Because, right, a Euro car go to the shooting. Now, if you say, well, oh, the car was stolen, okay, was the car reported stolen before the robbery took place? Because, that's our next sykes of the gang news. They rent out the car, and they rent out the car, and then, if something go bad, and the car get catch, then them say, oh, the car was stolen. Stolen when? It's just too easy. People going to one station with a man and his story and get to where the fuck say them vehicles get used right, for murder and robberies. One car do all 20 drive by and the one just keep going to the station telling the same old story over and over. Right? And then next thing you know, car get released back into position, car the back on the road. My Christopher come out there. But there's something happen right across the board. The man they use Regular private vehicle go up and shooting, go up and murders. People are spot the plate them, reporting it and nothing happen to the people that own the car them. Right. Man just give the same and answer story over and over. Now I'm one touch for one final thing. I say the whole argument surrounding, right, you know, if an inside job I go on the beryllium. It's possible. Right. It's very possible, but here's the thing. Whether or not it's an inside job or outside job, you're still have to go defend yourself when you get attacked. Whether it was planned or not planned, when the first shot fire, you're going to have to defend yourself properly. Right? So, it's very possible it's an inside job, but even if it was turned out to be an inside job, right, that don't change right? tactics, SOPs, etc. Right? Inside job just means that them tell you to say, say oh, the going reach 4 o'clock, right? and I'm going to drive that vehicle. Okay, so them know what time you are reached. That don't equal you're definitely coming out on the losing side of a shootout. It doesn't. When a police or a JDF unit is deploying in a community, right, it's already assumed that somebody is going to call ahead and tip off the 87. However, if you drive in the community and get completely wiped out in an ambush, they can then go back and say, well, you know, somebody tip them off, so what could we do? No, that's not how it works. So, inside job, very possible. But inside job don't mean guaranteed destruction. All I'm saying is, all of these attacks so far, 87s are like 10 and 0. No losses. That's what's annoying me. 87s are taking no losses. Right? Against armed guards. You're making them look like Rambo. You're boosting their confidence. And they might come after more. Anyway, Patreon squad, big up on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. More life. Ultra squad. Stay circling. Yes.